All right, Bigfoot lovers, we're continuing this kinematics problem 3C. It says, what is the displacement in meters of the furry monster during the 3.0 seconds it moved to the south from rest to attain the velocity of 3.3 meters per second? In this problem set right here, I am tracking a Sasquatch monster. In problem 3B, took a flash with a camera and it startled the monster and it took off and in the last problem we measured the final velocity and in this one we're trying to look and see how far did it travel during this time and if it attained the speed of 3.3 meters per second. There is a video associated with this it's called Sasquatch bathtub or something like that so look at that in the in the comments. That'll make this problem kind of come to life. Kind of an interesting thing. I do understand that Sasquatch monsters eat while they're in the bathtub, so it's kind of messy around that area. Remember that when you're using your TI-84 Plus to make sure that across the top it says normal, fixed, six, decimal, real, degree, and math print. If you need to change these, just hit mode and use your nav pad to go down through there and change change this. If we hit second and quit, we can get out of that. When we're talking about the TI Inspire CAS, if we are at the home key, if we go to settings and click on that and then go to document settings, we can go through all these and make sure that we have the Inspire set for float 6 degree normal and approximate. Make sure you click OK at the end to apply that. Hit Escape. To go back to the main page with the CAS, we're going to tab to the bottom left and use the document, the document tab and not the scratch pad. So we can go ahead and click to open that. By the way, the expanded directions for how to do this are in the very first video in this playlist. So what we have done is we have taken a, a simple velocity equation, d is equal to v multiplied by t, and just added this average expression here into the middle of it. So we're going to calculate displacement in this problem. When we read through this, uh, the time listed is 3.0 seconds. And it tells us that the monster is moving to the south from rest. So we know that the initial velocity is zero meters per second. And we also know that it is attaining the velocity of 3.3 meters per second. So that would be our final velocity, 3.3 meters per second to the south. And so now we just want to plug this information into our displacement equation. And in this equation, we know that the final velocity is 3.3 meters per second. The initial velocity is 0, 0.0 meters per second. And we are going to divide all of this by 2. And then we're going to multiply it by the time, 3.0 seconds. So we're going to perform the operations inside of the parentheses first and then multiply by the time at the end. So let's see what we can figure out here. I'm kind of having a squeeze. With the TI-84 plus we will say 3.3 or on and clear, excuse me, and then 3.3 multiplied, excuse me, that's not multiplied. Let's go clear again. Let's start over. 3.3 plus zero, enter, divided by two, enter, and I get 1.65 followed by four zeros. All right, so I get 1.65 meters per second multiplied by 3.0 seconds. All right, multiplied by 3.0, hit enter, and I get D is equal to 4.95 seconds cancel, and I'm talking about a displacement in meters. 
when I plug the same information into the CAS, I am going to put 3.3 plus, I didn't mean to say plus plus, just plus, 0, enter, divided by 2, enter, you get 1.65, multiplied by 3.0, enter, and I get 4.95. So, as I attempt to report this answer in the proper sig figs, I went back at the information that I'm given. 3.0 has two sig figs. This 3 is a non-zero digit, and we have a 0 to the right of a non-zero digit and to the right of a decimal, so that has two sig figs. Same thing with the 3.3. Two sig figs, these are two whole numbers. I'm not going to count this right here in our calculation. So what we want to do is kind of cut this off right here. We'll start with the, the big number and head to the right. And we're going to cut it off right there. It's kind of messy, but that will have to do for right now. The 5 makes the 9 go up to a 0, and then that... Uh, bumps the 4 up to a 5. So we can probably report this answer as 5.0 meters. That is the displacement of the monster after it was startled with the flash. Interesting. Heading over to the bathtub next to take a bath. Maybe. Interesting and fun problem series class. Leverly. Okay, as you might guess, old man Barnes has left out an important thing. What is it? Well, if we are calling this displacement, displacement is a vector quantity, so it implies a direction. And what is the direction that we are given in this problem? It is south. So, let's kind of modify this just a little bit, and let's say that this is to the south. And that will make me so very happy. That actually is the direction of the Sasquatch bathtub from the bedding side. It is due south. It's not five meters. It's a little bit further than that. So this is just the how far the the big guy traveled just in three seconds. So more distance, more displacement to follow after this. I think we're good to go now. I'm so very happy.